15. januára. Uh-huh. A dorazili sme na Tajvan. A je zelená. A je zelená a poďme. Máme nádherné počasie. Zakotvili sme v meste Ilu. Je Elu, píše sa. A ideme na Kilum Station. Tak, 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 We are leaving the port of Keelong city, which as we have been able to see, is deservedly called the rainy port. <laughs> Taiwan itself, officially the Republic of China, is an island country in East Asia with almost 24 million inhabitants. It is among the most decently populated country and is no longer a member of the United Nations. The journey from the port to Taipei took us an hour and a half. I have no idea if it's a normal practice or just an inappropriately chosen connection. But we spent quite a long time at one of the stations. Taipei Hlavna Stanita. Budeme dúfať, že neprší. No ideme sa na vrchol, keď vonku, že prší a podľa toho sa zariadíme. Hej, tu McDonald's, 7-Eleven ako všade a základná otázka je, či prší. Neprší. Neprší! Taipei Main Station. Vítaj, Taipei. Vítam. Aj ty tam. Aj ty tam, aj my tam. One car, one people see, two car, three car. A že to sa oplatí za 150 dolarov na celý deň. Dobre, a ideme... Ponan Lain. Ponan Na Langsam Tempe. Technická poznámka číslo neviem. Tuto dovolenku sa celý čas vozíme po pohyblivých schodoch. Pripadám si, aké by som bol na dovolenke v Tesku. Longshan Temple is a Chinese folk religion's temple built in 1738. Today, unfortunately, tourists can no longer admire the original buildings from the 18th century, as the temple was rebuilt in the 1920s. The temple was completely or partially destroyed by many earthquakes, fires or air raids by American bombers during World War II, because the Japanese allegedly hit their weapons there. However, the people of Taipei never gave up and constantly rebuilt and renovated it.
tohto si nie som celkom istá, či tá predpoveď je dobrá alebo zlá. Čo to znamená? Ťažký je na bezpečných časoch, z toho aj to mám najnemožnejšie myslím. Since we didn't go through the whole procedure, the wish will not come true. Presidentsky palác. This baroque building is the workplace of the President of the Republic of China on Taiwan. Construction began on 1st of June 1912 and ended on 31st March 1919 during the period of Japanese rule. Originally, it was set as the office of the Governor General of Taiwan. It became the President's office in 1950 after Taipei became the capital of Taiwan. During World War II, the building was heavily bombed and severely damaged. The fire burned for three days. 45 days after the air raid, Japan surrendered. A keď sa bude blížiť k nule, bude utekať? Hej, uteká! On uteká! Ježiš! To je zlaté! A stojí! Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. Další automat. Když já nevím, co to je za drink, když jsou tam samé taky to značky. No tu se píše Bai Hao Olong Ti. Dobre, tak poďme kúpim. This famous national monument and tourist attraction was completed in 1980 in memory of Generalissimo Chiang Kai-shek, the former president of the Republic of China. The memorial hall is white, the roof is blue and octagonal, which highlights the symbolism of the number 8, which in China is traditionally associated with prosperity and happiness. Two sets of white stairs lead to the main entrance. Each of them has 89 steps, representing Chang's age at the time of his death. On the ground floor of the memorial is a library and museum documenting the life and career of Chiang Kai-shek, with exhibits detailing the history and development of Taiwan. Upstairs is the main hall, dominated by the statue of Chiang Kai-shek, where a guard mounting ceremony takes place at regular intervals. Po ceremonii, kde sa menila stráž, to otvorili verejnosti. Ešte, 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 až do neba. Ako už názov napoveda, 
To bude to mať 101 po schodi. A rovno je tu metro stanica, takže ani nikam netreba chodiť. Vraj to má taký výťah, že keď tam položím mincu na stojáka a vyleziem sa hore, tam minca sa ani nehne. Tu sa kupujú lístky a pre dostavu osobu tu stojí 600 dolarov. Máme lístky. There are two high-speed elevators manufactured by Toshiba in Taipei 101. Their top speed is 1,010 meters per minute, about 60.6 km per hour. It only takes 37 seconds to travel from the 5th floor to the 89th floor of the skyscraper, so it was the fastest passenger elevator in the world from 2004 to 2015. At the time of its opening, in 2004 to 2010, Taipei 101 was classified as the tallest building in the world. In 2011, it was named the tallest and largest ecological building in the world. It is 509.2 meters high and has 101 floors above ground and 5 basement levels. Krava. Taipei 101 is designed to withstand the typhoon winds and earthquake tremors that are common in eastern Taiwan. According to the designer, the building should withstand a wind force of 216 km per hour. During construction, on 31st of March 2002, a 6.8 magnitude earthquake rocked Taipei. Two construction cranes from the 56th floor, the highest floor at the time, toppled. Five people died in the accident, but inspection showed no structural damage to the building and construction soon resumed. Why is Taipei 101 so resistant to natural forces? It is thanks to a 660-ton heavy steel pendulum that serves as a dumper that cost $4 million. The pendulum is suspended from the 92nd to the 87th floor and with slight movements compensates movements of the building, which can be caused by, for example, strong wind, which makes the building flexible. This sphere, the largest of its kind in the world, consists of 41 steel plates of various diameters welded to form a sphere with a diameter of five and a half meters. The largest movement, up to one meter, was recorded on 8th of August 2015. This dumper has become such a popular tourist attraction and it has its own mascot, the Dumper Baby, and its four versions, rich gold, cool black, Smart Silver and Lucky Red. The mascot has become a popular item in souvenir shop with its own comics and website. Why 101 floors? It's all about symbolism. 101 represents the addition of 1 to the number 100, which is considered perfect in Chinese culture. In other words, 101 is even better than perfect. Part of the building is architecturally divided into eight sections, which tend to be outward in the style of pagoda, which each section have eight floors. 
which is again a symbolism and represents prosperity and happiness in Chinese culture. Conversely, the number 4 is considered an unlucky number in Chinese culture. So, what would have been the 44th floor is replaced by 43rd with 42a, replacing the actual 43rd. On each side are large circular protrusions that symbolize ancient Chinese coins. <laughs> The design and the whole building pays tribute to Taiwan and the Chinese culture. The whole structure contains many shapes and squares and circles to achieve a balance between yin and yang. And in fact, everything related to the building and its surroundings is built in accordance with the Feng Shui philosophy. From 6 to 10 each evening, the tower's light display one of seven colors in the spectrum of visible light. Each day has its own color – Monday red, Tuesday orange, Wednesday yellow, Thursday green, Friday blue, Saturday indigo and Sunday violet. In Taipei 101, you will find many restaurants, fashion shops, clubs and offices. The 101st floor was a mystery until 2014. It was known that there was a VIP club called Summit, but until recently no information about it was published. Only foreign dignitaries or Hollywood film actors were invited to the club. If you were neither the president nor a movie star, you could get into this VIP club if you spent more than a million Taiwanese dollars in stores. Since 2019, the top floor is also open to the public, but only for 36 people a day. Before leaving Taipei, I recommend visiting the underground shopping center located under the main station, especially fans of comics, computer games, fantasy and science fiction. Taipei City Mall is the first underground shopping mall in Taipei divided into three main parts – clothing, electronics and food. It is approximately 825 meters long and has 28 exits, 14 to the north and 14 to the south, and it is possible to get from there to the Taipei Metro, Taiwan Railway Administration, Taiwan High Speed Rail and the airport. Automat na knižky, 